guys, it's your boy Jack, and I'm back with another video. And today, if you guys cannot tell from the title of the video, I'm here with Why Am I Single? So, with that being said, cue to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be, and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So here we are with another video on my dating life. And I'm gonna be real with you guys. The reason why I'm doing this is because the last time I did this, this got views. The last time I did this kind of video was basically me telling you guys story times about like dates I've been on. And if you guys wanna check that out, y'all can check that out right here. And with that being said, here we are with another video on my dating life. With that said, we are going to be talking about why I'm single or why I think I'm single. And we're gonna give some list of why i feel like i'm single there's no particular number or whatever we're just going to be talking about why i feel like i'm single but before we start this video let me just show you guys my shirt you know what i'm saying we got the broken heart you know what i mean and then we got the broken heart tattoo you know what i mean um yeah y'all can tell from my shirt and my tattoo yeah your boy's heart broken you know what i mean um so it's sad boy hours but to officially start this video, I feel like we should talk about my dating life or at least give a brief history on my dating life. And yeah, we're just going to talk about how everything happened in my dating life in the past. So basically, this might be embarrassing, but you know, fuck it. We're at that point where it's like no return, you know what I'm saying? So we might as well just expose myself. Um, but basically, um, yeah, I didn't get my first kiss until I was 18. So yeah, y'all can make fun of me. Oh, Jackie, he didn't get his first kiss until he was 18. Yeah, fuck you. Um, but yeah, you can say I was kind of a late bloomer. I didn't get into my first relationship until I was 18, my freshman year of college. And I would definitely say I've only been in two official relationships where it was like official boyfriend, girlfriend type of things. And I'll definitely say both of them only last like six months. So yeah, basically throughout almost my 22 years of life, I've only had one year of like dating because yeah, I turned 22 February 23. So yeah, I'm about to be old as fuck. With that said, I've only been in two relationships. One was when I was 18, freshman in college. And the second one was when I was like 19 and I was a sophomore in college. And yeah, the year is 2023, the beginning of the year. So it's been two years and some change since I've been single. And yeah, I've been single and lonely. So hit me up. But with that brief history said, Let's just get started on why I think I'm single. So to start this video off, I'm gonna start off with like the most juiciest topic. The reason why I'm starting off with the juiciest topic is because I know you guys ain't gonna sit here and watch it at the end because let's be real, y'all only watch like half my videos and then y'all yeah, be like, I'm out. Um, but yeah, just to start off, the, here's why I think I'm single. And it's because in my past, my first relationship ever, I cheated. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna hide it. Um, because I'm an honest person and I try to tell the truth as best as I can and yeah my first relationship ever I cheated so sorry to my ex but I doubt you're watching this video um, but yeah definitely um, I fucked up in my first relationship um, if you guys want me to do a full story time on that let me know down below um, and yeah I'm not proud of what I did but I am happy that I did it because it definitely helped shape me into the man that I am now um, definitely because it's just like, I know that I'll be the person to cheat, but I fucked up, I cheated, um, and I learned from my mistake, and I am a better man now, and whether you guys believe me or not, because I know the saying, once a cheater, always a cheater, um, just know I have definitely taken the steps that I needed to take to become a better man, um, and yeah, I'm not proud of what I did. But it's something I did and I have to be a man and own up to my mistake so I can better myself. I'm not going to sit here and run and deny what I did and be like, no, I didn't do it. No, I, I fucked up. You know what I mean? Um, so I have to take accountability of my mistake. I have hurt someone that I thought meant a lot to me. But clearly it's just, if it was meant to be, it was meant to be. Um, but it clearly wasn't because, you know, I fucked up. And everything in life happens for a reason. And everything that happens in your life helps you become the person that you're supposed to be. So with that said, the reason why I say that hurts my dating life is because one, people either look at me as, oh, once a cheater, always a cheater. Or two, they'll be like, oh, we see that he admitted that he fucked up and he's trying to better himself. So it either goes both ways. So with that said, that already kind of cuts the dating list in half if you think about it. Because like a lot of people don't like cheating, which is understandable. And I don't condone it or support it. You know what I mean? That's why I felt like I needed to say it and just get it out there because um, 
I'm not proud of what I did, but I did it. And the one thing I can say is that at least I can own up to my mistake. And at least I can say that I am trying to better myself as a man and as a boyfriend and as a partner. I would say that I was young, dumb, couldn't communicate. And like I said, if you guys want a full story time where I go into detail about the whole cheating thing, I can let you guys know. And fun fact, this is actually a very sad fact. My next girlfriend that I had, she cheated on me. So yeah, I guess people can say you got your karma back, but I don't think I got karma. I still feel like a terrible human being. I still feel like the karma is gonna come back at me and stuff like that, because I believe in karma. So it's like what you put out in the world is what you get back, like the energy type of stuff. Um, so yeah, if you guys want a story time about the time I cheated and the time I got cheated on, just let me know. Um, those are two separate crazy videos of their own. So one thing I could take away from the whole me cheating situation and me getting cheated on, but it's definitely communication. Those two situations made me realize that communication is very, very, very um, strong. So with that being said, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I'm the best communicator, because sometimes I still struggle with communicating, and also it's just like communication can go both ways. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda tend to get frustrated when people don't tell me the full truth, or they lie to me, or they can't talk to me. So I guess I'm at fault too because I guess you could say I'm impatient sometimes. But with that being said, it's just like, it kind of sucks when you try to communicate and the other person doesn't communicate back, you know what I mean? So I guess I just take that as a sign as we just ain't meant to be. So with that being said, I would definitely say communication plays a big part because I'm out, because I will say I'm a clean ass dude. You know what I'm saying? So I need me a clingy girl so we can be texting, calling, stuff like that. And I understand people be busy and texting all the time and calling all the time can't be healthy because I understand that people need a long time from each other. So basically, I just want someone to simp for me like the way I'm finna simp for them because like the, that's what I want, you know what I'm saying? I want a clingy girl who finna simp for me and stuff like that. And nowadays, I feel like that's very hard to come by because the way I see the dating life, whatever it's called nowadays, is that all the good girls are either pregnant they don't want to date or they're taken and the one thing a girl can say to me that hurts the most is that oh i'm not ready to date the reason why i say that is because majority of the time when a girl says that here's a fucking fact for you guys she just doesn't want to date you but for the right man she would date so it it just hurts i just wish people can be honest and just be like i don't see you in that way because as soon as you see them with another man that shit hurts because it's just like oh that's you weren't ready to date but the next day you're ready to jump on jimmy's dick you know what i'm saying so it's just like that hurts the most and if you can't tell that's happened to me but you know it is what it is you know what i'm saying uh but yeah i definitely say i need someone that's going to be able to communicate with me well, but yeah, I would definitely say I definitely need someone that is gonna send for me like how I'm finna send for them, that we're, we're able to communicate, we're clingy, and all that stuff. Because the real thing that I'm looking at the end of the day is I'm looking for a girlfriend that's gonna eventually become my wife. Like, I'm done playing games, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to be 22 years old, like, I should be, like, not settling down, but you know, settling down, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, moving on, I would definitely say I, come with a lot of luggage, a lot of baggage, if that makes sense. The reason why I say that is because I have a lot of past traumas in my life where I'm not ready to open up about them now, but definitely one day I will talk about my past trauma stories. So just basically get ready for some story times. Um, and yeah, with that said, um, I have a lot of issues, basically. <laughs> um, I have trust issues. I have... Um, like, I, I, I don't know if this is an issue, but it's like, I don't know how to take love or give love, if that makes sense. Because sometimes I feel like my own family doesn't even love me. Like, sometimes I feel my mom and dad and sister don't love me, but I know they love me, you know what I'm saying? So I don't really know how to give love. And sometimes I don't really know how to give love because the way I be giving my love, they might not like the way that's reciprocated. Not reciprocated. They don't like how it's given. So, yeah, basically, um... I still need a lot of growing, so that's why I feel like I'm also single, because I'm just honestly just taking time for myself to become a better man, so whenever the time is right, so I can be the best man for my future girlfriend slash wife. With the overthinking, I need someone who's going to give me constant reinsurance, you know what I'm saying? Not to the point where it's like annoying, like, oh, why I always got to reinsure you? Why are you so damn insecure? It's like, I need someone that's just like 
randomly, like once a week, like, babe, you know I look, you know what I mean? Something like that, you know what I'm saying? Something small and simple, because like, I feel like the little things matter a lot. So I would definitely say I need someone that's gonna constantly give me reinsurance. I will say this about the dating life now, is that a lot of people are into the hookup culture or like just fucking uh, me personally. I don't want to just have meaningless sex. I'm trying to make love, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I want to eventually have a family and stuff like that. So I don't want to just randomly have sex with anyone because you know, anything could happen. And I don't want to make Jackie Jr. with someone I don't love, you know what I mean? So I would definitely say I've been used for sex. Um, yeah, if you want a story time about that, let me know. But yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I feel like hookup culture is just not for me. And just a lot of people just want to mess around, test the waters, see what guys are willing to give them what. Um, so yeah, that's probably one of the reasons why I suck dating around my age because a lot of girls are just really not it. You know what I mean? Because like I said, all the good girls are either pregnant, have a boyfriend, or they aren't ready to date. So it's just like tough. And I'm not saying all the good girls are gone, because there's definitely a whole bunch of good girls around the world. Um, it's just, I guess, the girls that I have encountered. But with that being said, that kind of really concludes why I'm single. Like, I'm choosing to stay single low-key just to protect my heart, because I'm a hopeless romantic. And I guess I expect a lot from love. And I, the, the main thing I really want in my life is just to be loved, or feel loved, or a significant other, because, like, I have dreams of getting married and having kids, you know what I'm saying? I would definitely say those dreams are bigger than my dreams of becoming a successful YouTuber because I would rather be happy in life working a nine to five with my family than fucking being rich and famous. As much as, much as I say that I would rather be rich and famous and lonely, the main thing I really want in life is a significant other, a partner, a wife, um, friend, best friend, just to make memories with, have kids. And, you know, just do shit together. I really want a ride or die, you know what I'm saying? I really want, like, my Vin Diesel fucking family type shit, you know what I mean? But, yeah, the way I see it now is just that it's not my time to date. It's not my time to shine in the dating life. And, yeah, I try to focus on myself. I've deleted all dating apps. Um, and, yeah, I'm not really flirting with people as well on campus or whatever. I'm kind of just staying to myself. I'm more focused on myself and my grind. And I'll definitely say I've had ups and downs, but definitely I've done a lot of growth. Um, I had to recover from some stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just taking it day by day. I'm not gonna lie, now I'm realizing it. Some people might think I'm a bitch for making this video, but fuck you. Um, or they might be thinking I'm like a simp or like, oh, this, that, but fuck you. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I feel like it's gonna get views, not gonna lie. And it's just a way for me to express myself and just tell you guys my story. But yeah, with that being said, that kind of concludes this video. The reason why I'm single is because I've cheated in my past. And some people either view me as like, oh, once a cheater, always a cheater. Or they'd be like, oh, we see him. He, he, he's like admitting his mistake and trying to better himself. Um, and two, um, I need someone that's going to be able to communicate. I need someone who's going to simp for me like how I'm going to simp for them. Um, I need someone who can give me reinsurance. Um, I want someone who doesn't want me just because of the way I look. I want something deeper. I want to create a bond. Like, this is the way I want, like, the relationship to go. I want us to become a friend, then best friend, or best friend slash girlfriend, and then wife, you know, kids and stuff, you know. I have that happy, like, fairy tale movie, fucking romantic relationship. Um, if that happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. I'm just taking life day by day, you know what I'm saying? I'm only worrying about things I can control. <laughs> So, with that being said, if there's any people that want to shoot their shot with me, hey, shoot your shot. Who knows what can happen? Because I'm out here shooting shots and I'm missing. And I'm not talking about dating life. I'm talking about on the courts. Because me and my boys, we join the Intermeros team. Um, hopefully we win. Um, if we win, you'll see some highlights. If, you, if we don't, you won't. Um, but with that being said, I only have nothing else left to say. Um, but if you guys do judge me and unsubscribe, it is what it is. But if you guys are new to my channel, you should go down and hit the subscribe button if you like this video. And stay tuned for some bangers because I'm working on some great content for you guys. And some last words for me. I'm sorry this video seemed all over the place or lacked energy. Just know that I'm filming another video while I'm filming this video, if that makes sense. And I've been tired, but it will all come together once that other video comes out. Um, 
So yeah, just stay tuned for that and yeah, just stay tuned for what I have planned and what I have in store for this year. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, send your boys out.